Marysville Roundtable, a discussion on current events, sports, and entertainment. Quite a few years ago, Marysville had its own Chamber of Commerce. Recently, Marysville business leaders took steps to bring back the concept, forming the Marysville Business Council. Joining us today are three leaders associated with the council. Mrs. Pat Shirky with Shirky Electric, Mrs. Anita Dado with Walsh's Party Store, and Mr. Mike Deesing with Deesing Real Estate. Thank you for joining us today. Now, I want to ask, what inspired you to start the Business Council back up again? Well, both Mike and I were on the original Chamber of Commerce, and when that dissipated, we um, come up with the idea of maybe we could start something just to get the businesses back together again. I think that was, what, 2007, 2008, we did that. So that's, that's how that all came about, and with, in conjunction with also the city of Marysville, helped us out a lot. So. They did, and the idea was, uh, as a, with a traditional uh, chamber of commerce, there's cost to be members, and there's a lot of uh, things you have to do to maintain your membership there. We're not, we're a very loose organization. It's free. It's just getting together and networking and getting the business together and get the awareness out. So now with, like, all of that, like, what are some of the goals that, like, the business council hopes to have for, like, the community and like local businesses like what do you guys want to help with we'd kind of like to bring a lot more events uh, right now we have uh, mirrors of Hobbit's weekend in august and then we have um uh, christmas in the park and we'd like to get a few more events going with that we need more people we need more input more ideas so that's what we're we're hoping to do and get more businesses involved Right. I think everyone really likes the Christmas in the park right now. Everyone just drives through, sees mm -hmm. a few things, and just, they enjoy it. Yeah. It's, it helps uh, to, like, add something to Marysville. Yeah, um, and it's getting bigger and bigger every year, so. Yeah. Just, Which is really good, right? Yep. Yeah, yeah, absolutely it is. What can you do to, like, help newer businesses or existing businesses? Well, one of the things that the council does is, is network. We like to get the businesses together. It's their free events. Um, we try to meet once a month, and in those networking events, we like to, you meet, you greet, it's, uh, you talk, you find out about the businesses, um, but that's one of the ways we share. A lot of things are done on social media now, so it's, you've met, say, five, six businesses in that last meeting. They're going to help share and spread your message, spread your, like, awareness to the rest of the town. So they might not have heard of your new business. We're gonna help share that. You're gonna teach us about yourself. We're, that's, that's, it's a learning process. So, but it's, there's, it's all support. Right, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, I know with Marysville, it's kinda, it's kinda close knit where like everyone helps everyone. And then like, so with that, what would like the vision of like the future of Marysville be in your guys' eyes and how can the business council like help to achieve that goal or that vision per se? Well, again, we'd like to bring more events in uh, so we can get the, the residents involved, the businesses involved, everybody going for this. Mm -hmm. um, as far as a vision, just to help each other. Yeah. And I guess, uh, that's, that's, that's obviously new, new businesses come in, bigger businesses. We've got a lot of uh, empty spaces still in the, in the few malls we have and uh, try to bring in some bigger chain businesses, bigger industry, bigger, you know, across the board just to make it a better place to live. It's definitely a big goal, especially with just Marysville, it's like a smaller area. Well, a lot of our businesses are, are locally owned. Um, the people who run these businesses live in the town as well. Mm -hmm. So when you get the businesses involved, and then as we can build on this and bring in the residents, it, it becomes even bigger because now it's not just the businesses trying to trying to do this. Now we get input from the residents of the, of the town what would they like to see done, you know, and how can we build from that, you know, and grow? We, we actually do get quite a few calls from residents in town. Hey, what about this kind of business? Or what are the chances of bringing this kind of business in? This is, I think, what we need. And we do really take that seriously. And we try to meet with the city heads and see if there's a, uh, you know, a way to make it happen or make a contact, Randy Fernandez. Uh, the city manager is really good about that. We can bring something to him, and if he can reach out to that type of a business, 
he does and see if it's, you know, sometimes it goes somewhere, sometimes it doesn't. Like, you mentioned phone calls. Like, is there any other ways that the, like, business council is trying to strengthen their ties for, like, with the community and, like, ask for, like, oh, is this something you'd be interested Just in? Just making sure we're reaching out, having the events. You've been to the events. Um, we try to get around to talk to everybody we can. We, you know, we all believe, as every town should, shop locally. Use your local you know, stores and services and everything to keep them going. Plus, that keeps you in front of them. There's businesses in town that I know of, and, and I do it myself. Um, you know, if a business needs a hand with something real quick or they're short-staffed or something, you, you jump in and help. And I know that happens all over town. I do it personally as well. Um, but that's what we do, and that helps promote. The word gets out that, that we're very tight-knit and people want to come to town and yeah. set up shop. Yeah, it's mostly social media. Mm -hmm. That way, you know, Facebook and, you know, trying to get people interested in coming and being at these meetings mm -hmm. and giving us their input. And like Mike said, we do, we try to be the liaison between the businesses and the city council and the city manager. So mm -hmm. uh, that's what we're shooting for is, is more involvement there. The city's been a great partner. Um, you know, they're very open and they listen to what we have to say. They have city, you know, we have uh, two members on the council right now, so that helps too. So we have a direct line to them when we need something. Right. Or if they need something, they've come to us too. Yes. Yeah. Uh, is there any other ways that the uh, city has like, like helped you guys, like where it comes to like, I don't know, like establishing the business council or anything like that? Not really as far as... Um, no, they're just great moral support. Moral yeah. support, always there, they, yeah. they listen. Yep. They mm -hmm. listen if, you know, there's a building needed that I might not know about, they might know about, and back and forth, and how to get through the red tape of getting a business started through the inspections and, uh, you know, things of that nature. They're, they're a big help there. I know it's been discussed in the past if we we're going to have committees or not. Um, what are some of the committees? Yeah. Well, some of the committees right now, well, there's really only the three of us right now as board members. We'd like to see at least four or five more people join us as the core group. Um, so we're working on that. Um, we'd like to, I'd like to get an event committee, uh, somebody that can um, organize different ideas and get more events into the city. And then um, just somebody to help us organize. Um, with just the three of us, sometimes it's kind of hard. Social you know, because we all own businesses, so yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, we need like a good social media person that actually does that a lot right. more than we do. So, but yeah, that's just, just a few of them, but we're mm -hmm. always open for ideas, mm -hmm. always. So I know you mentioned social media quite a few times. Mm -hmm. Is that the main way that you guys are keeping the community informed on like the happenings and stuff? And then like, is yeah. there any other ways that you guys? I are mean, thinking? that and word of mouth. Once mm -hmm. we get you know an event. Put together, then it becomes uh, it's in the hands of the businesses then to inform whether it's their clients, their customers, and yeah. you know whoever you come across, and you start a conversation up whether it's hanging a flyer, and then the conversation grows from there. Mm -hmm. So uh, for us at the store, we we talk a lot with our our customers. You know whether if I leave a flyer for Hot Wheels weekend on my countertop, people have never heard of it or people that are just passing in town. That conversation starts, oh, you know, and it just blows up from there. So social media is the start, and then we've got word of mouth. There's nothing like the power of word of mouth. I right. agree with that, mm -hmm. definitely. Yeah, we're, and I'm, you know, a bigger face-to-face -face guy than I am a social media <laughs> exactly, guy. I have yeah. a social media presence, but I enjoy getting, you know, I'll just, you know, step into a different store, you know, stop into a different business, just introduce myself to say hi to the management and whoever's there and let them know we're there. And mm -hmm. it works, definitely mm -hmm. works. Right. But we're just getting started and we'd like to see it grow a whole lot more. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. I know we've covered a lot of material today. Um, is there anything else you guys would like to add? Just if you know of a business or you are a business that would like to get more involved in the Marysville Business Council, but by all means, get a hold of one of us and we can make that happen. Come to one of our social events, uh, come to our events throughout the year, and we would love to have you. I appreciate all you guys coming in. Um, it's amazing having such a new committee and like new organization come in 
and uh, speak about what you guys are all about. Oh, thank you for having thank us. Thank yeah. you. Mm -hmm. If you're interested in learning more or becoming involved with the council, please contact one of these members. Please join us again next time for another segment of Marysville Roundtable. I'm Tyler Dimmick for M6, your hometown station. Marysville Roundtable, a discussion on current events, sports, and entertainment.